Right, Mark, um, let's go straight into the, the Wrexham stuff, if you don't mind. So, you've known this fixture was coming for a little while. How are you feeling now? We're just a couple of days away. Looking forward to it. Um, it's probably, I would say, one of the top five or six toughest draws we could get. Um, bearing in mind there's League One teams in there. Um, amazing run that Wrexham have, have been on from the National League to League Two and they're looking like they're going to go again. So it's, um, yes, yeah, a really tough one, but one we're really looking forward to and we've enjoyed the build-up and it's, it's different for us because I think every game we've played this season, apart from the two FA Cup games against teams above us, we've had pressure on us to win every game. So for us, there's no pressure on us that we have to win. It's um, it's not a free hit, but one where there's not lots of pressure on us to win. Wrexham know that they're the favourites and the pressure's on them. You and I have spoken a couple of times about how much the FA Cup means to you. What does this match in particular mean to you on a personal level? Given It's, it's, it's a big moment for Yeovil because it's their first big FA Cup match for, for a few years. It's not... It's not so it's not about me, it's about the club, the players, um, and what it means, I think, really to, or for us to take the club to the next the next level, you know, it's finance is key uh, at any in any business, and to get into the third round is, is what, what dreams are made of, that you're... You have a chance of pulling an unbelievable tie against a big boy in your. You can earn an amount of money that changes the the outlook of the club. In terms of recent history, we don't actually have to go back very far to the last time you guys played, both in very different predicaments then. How has Yeovil changed as a club since that moment in the National League? I think it was a, a rudderless ship. Um, Back then, nobody really knew what was going on. We had a, a stewardship that were trying to take control of the club that were signing players, and I didn't really have any autonomy or any real sort of authority or, on the playing side. Um, but now we have a we have a new owner. We have a we have a direction. We have a freshness. Um, and I have a, I have a, a responsibility in a role where I'm allowed to get on with the football side to a certain degree and do what managers do best, which is um, sign, try and sign good players and put a good team on the pitch. In terms of form, you've been brilliant. I've been obviously discounting the last result. Yeah. Form like before then was superb. So. You couldn't really be playing Wrexham at a better time for you and your team. Yeah, we, listen, we, we lost a game last week and I think in any walk of life, in any... It, and in football, you look at the results after last Saturday, I think Portsmouth were 20 summit games unbeaten. Mm. They lost 4-0. Was that at home? Or, um, yeah, home to Blackpool. Stockport had set the League 2 record of wins. They lost at Newport. Uh, Mansfield unbeaten this year, the whole season, lost at Swindon, who'd lost five, six games on the trot. So teams are allowed to lose now and again. Um, so we're confident in our in our own strengths and, and what we can do on Sunday. Listen, we know it's going to be a remarkably tough game. We're under no illusions of that. We know that we have to play really, 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 really well. And Wrexham have to have two or three that are not quite at it. And um, and that's just reality. But we're in a really good moment. We're really enjoying our football and uh, and we're looking forward to the day. Do you feel like Yeovil yeah, is a similar predicament now to what Wrexham was a few years ago in terms of being a big club and wanting to be higher up the league structure than they are? Yeah, I think we should aspire to what they're doing. I'm sure, and I, well, I know the owner has got big plans and he, here and he wants to to try and get us back in the football league and you know but that's always takes a little bit of time Wrexham didn't do it straight away they lost in the playoffs mm -hmm. after huge investment in the first year and, and they've got there eventually now and you can easily see them going back to back to back promotions easily they've got a fantastic 
manager and coaching staff. They've got fantastic players. Um, they've got a fantastic set of supporters and, and a nice stadium, as have we. We've got all of that. And um, I'm not sure about the manager bit, but um, <laughs> no, but we have to have them, have them aspirations as well to get back where they are. What is your message to the players over the next couple of days? Oh, we, we, we will have a, a real nailed down game plan of how we think we can get a result. Like I said, we, we have been really free flowing, scored loads of goals, won loads of games. Uh, can we go to Wrexham for 90 minutes and do the same thing? Maybe. Stranger things have happened. Straight, of course. But we know that against a top team like that, we're not going to have it all our own way. And we're going to have periods in the, time, in the game where we've got to be a bit more conservative and we've got to fight, scrap, do all our horrible things really well. And in terms of team news, anything to report or are you still looking fairly fit for the, the game? Uh, yes, we 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 have got the same niggles that we had before, but um, yeah, I think we've got a you know we've got a full enough compliment from from last weekend that that played there. And from yourself, when you're playing career and your in Nigeria career, I have you had some good experiences at Wrexham mm, before? No, not. I won a couple of games there early in my. Not recently. No. <laughs> not recently. No, not many teams do at Wrexham, do they, no. at the minute? But, again, it's the FA Cup, and that's what the FA Cup is built on. Dreams, as this club knows, cup shocks, upsets, and, and we have to dream, and, um, yeah, we're more than capable.